Hi, I'm Leslie McVeigh. Welcome to another CTN member highlight. Today my guest is Dr. Cliff Trott, team leader uh, at the Portland Vet Center. Hi, Cliff. Hi, how are you today, Leslie? Fine, how are you? Yeah, I'm doing very, very well, um, and thank you for having me here today. Yeah, well, we're going to talk about an event coming up next Wednesday, May 22nd at One Longfellow Square, but before we do that, could you give us a brief um, little description of what the Portland Vet Center is and what you do there? Yeah, sure. So, so the Portland Vet Center, we're located on Stevens Avenue, 475 Stevens Avenue mm -hmm. specifically, um, between uh, the Deering High School and... Um, Westbrook College, Old Westbrook College, UNE. And we provide services to combat veterans and their families, also veterans who are survivors of military sexual trauma and um, family members who are grieving the loss of a uh, military family member who has died on active duty. So specifically, um, the majority of the population that comes into the Portland Vet Center are combat veterans. And we provide readjustment counseling services. And most of the staff right now are veterans ourselves. Um, so we, we provide that um, sort of extra knowledge and support that can be had right. um, through having been through those, those experiences ourselves. Which is so special because most of us w wouldn't understand w what goes with being a vet and having served in situations that none of us could even imagine. Right. Yeah. 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 So in line with that, there's an event coming up next Wednesday, the 22nd of May, One Longfellow Square. Yeah. Six to eight, I believe, at night. Yeah. And they're going to be showing the film Welcome to Lee, Maine. That's correct. Which is about um, a small community in Maine with uh, they've lost some people um, in the in the war that, areas. That's right. Yeah. As well as welcoming home vets. Correct. Um, and it's a it's a really important film, and I understand why you've chosen it. But one of the most important things mm -hmm. that evening, I think, will be a panel discussion. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Right, right. Well, before we get into the, the panel mm -hmm. discussion, I, I want to um, remind that it starts at 5.30, and oh. we are going to have some food there, oh. um, <laughs> wh wh which is nice. So this might be a nice opportunity for community members to come in and get to know some of the um, folks in the community. They're working with veterans, as well as veterans themselves. Yeah. This is a free event. Um, and uh, we're, we're hoping that it'll be a time for the community and the veteran community to really start a nice dialogue. Right, um, so you asked about the, the panel discussion that's yes. going to be present. We're going to have um, veterans from all war eras. Um, so this will be um, veterans from World War II, Korea, all the way to the current um, war eras. And um, specifically um, veterans and the uh, service providers as well. So we'll have some clinicians providing um, discussion and their insights into working with veterans also. Um, and we're hoping that this discussion will um, spark the audience so they can start to um, understand what are some of the struggles that the community goes through as well as um, for the veteran and the veteran family members because we will have right. family members on the panel as well. And, and the people's stories mm -hmm. are what really makes a difference, I think, in people connecting to the issues that are being dealt with, Oh, my, the personal my, my stories. Mo most definitely. I, I had the opportunity um, yesterday, as a matter of fact, to um, give a class up at Togus. And, and because I'm, I'm a psychologist, but I'm also an Army psychologist, so I was able to talk about my own personal experiences of being in Iraq and Afghanistan and how that has shaped and molded me as a psychologist. Yeah. And uh, as a person as well. Well, and in, because you, while serving, had to hear people's stories. Right. Um, you weren't uh, just living your own story. You mm -hmm. were helping other people live their stories. That's right. That's and right. so that that must have really hit home for you in a in a very special way. It, it, it becomes a very intimate process, um, and one in which you're engaged with the people in which you're helping. You know, because you're in the same situation, so so you become bonded in a very unique way. Yeah, yeah. and there are uh, people in the community who would love to help veterans coming home, yeah. and I suppose this would give them an opportunity after hearing stories, mm -hmm. talking with the panel yeah. about what is happening at the vet center, um, to maybe Violence. volunteer in some way. Y yes, mo most definitely, we do have volunteer positions at, at the vet center. Mm -hmm. 
we, we have many events that go on um, in and around the Vet Center community. So, and, and we can always use support, um, whether it's um, busy hands and um, some of the events like the event at One Longfellow Square, mm -hmm. um, some financial contribution is helpful as well. Just in many ways. Yeah. If people yeah. want to find out more about this, um, yeah. is there a web page they can go to? They can call up the Portland Vet Center, which is 207-780-3584. Um, and one, one of our staff will be more than happy to answer any questions. Well, I think it's going to be a great event, and thank you for offering mm -hmm. to be part of it and to help share your own story that special evening. Yeah, thank you, Leslie. And I thank really you for being it. here. Thanks for the opportunity. <laughs>